ladies and gentlemen. Today we see the agricultural sector of Zimbabwe going down. And a lot of people could question and wonder, where is the country going? How do we go about it? What's going on? Are we going to be food secure tomorrow? We are not food secure today. And I would wonder, and I ask, is it that the climate is changing so drastically farmers don't know how to operate under these conditions? Is it that the extension service they are receiving is not adequate, or effective, or efficient? So we come from a more academic perspective today as the youths of Zimbabwe to find out how should we go about it as far as the extension service is concerned. Do we go for a more privatized, a total privatization of the extension services? Do we go for total government control? Do we go for a partial extension service where we have both the government and the private sector working hand in hand to provide extension services to the farmers? We have a few panelists today who try to give their views on this matter. Toyota say the country is going down over to you. I suggest that there should be 100 percent privatization of these extension services. Why? This is because of dwindling budget of these public institutions, which result in losses and also cause discontent among farmers. Since this privatization is going to be a profit motive business for these providers, I think they should be more investors and as a result there should be competition. Due to competition, it results in efficiency, productivity and also quality. There's also job satisfaction. This job satisfaction results in motivating these employees and it results in productivity. People might think that it's not going to benefit these small farmers because they cannot pay extension services. The reason why they are not going to pay for extension services is that they are producing less and they are not productive. But the more they are going to be productive, they are able to save those surplus and able to pay for those extension services. So I suggest that there should be extension, there should be privatization of these extension services in order to boost the food security in Zimbabwe. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I disagree with the assertion that privatization, extension in Zimbabwe should be private. You have to present private or 100% total. I agree that in Zimbabwe we should go partial. Ladies and gentlemen, most of our private sectors have got access to, to, to donors and most of them they are donor funded. Because they are donor funded, they have got resources and when it comes to extension, they are efficient. They are goal specific, they are target specific, they are result specific. And most of our government in Zimbabwe, they are going to come in as a regulatory board whereby it will be monitoring and evaluating because most of our private sectors are rising up in Zimbabwe and we need to be sure whether our, farm, our farmers are going to be given correct information. So we are saying, ladies and gentlemen, today the Zimbabwean sector needs a private, a partial way of extension in, in the sense that the government will control and monitor whether our private sectors are correct or they are not. Ladies and gentlemen, I will give an example. Last year, in 20, last year most of the, our Zimbabwean farmers have been trained and have been trained on, on being farming as a business. And we are saying, ladies and gentlemen, if farmers were going to appreciate and take farming as a business, their lives were going to change either in urban or peri urban or rural areas of Zimbabwe. So we are saying, ladies and gentlemen, we should go partial. Thank you. I am in total disagreement with the previous presenters. I think our extension services in Zimbabwe should go totally government owned. Firstly, our government strives for equity, for equity, as well as uniformity among its farmers. The government renders these extension services to the agritech offices. These offices knows no segregation amongst the smallholder as well as the commercial farmers. Also, our government has got schemes such as the Mabuta scheme that was rendered to the Agricultural Marketing Authority to ensure that our farmers have got inputs so as to boost their agricultural production. The government also helps non-contracted farmers to acquire inputs so as to boost the agricultural production. So people, I think you all agree with me that the government has got these people at heart and our extension services in Zimbabwe should go totally government owned. Thank you. So 
some votes for total government control because the government has people at heart. And it is true, the government does have people at heart. But someone says, the government does not have the resources. So what do we do? Do we go for total privatization? Do we go for total government control? Do we go for partial extension services? Over to the floor. What do you think? Again, I ask. Toy Tase. Yes, seven down. Oh, and uh, partial. Very, very, very. So we should go under partial. Because it, 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 this is the workload of the government. And also, the government intervention, it reduces its monitoring and control the private sector. For example, the private sector will come in with an recommended services, for example, coming up with GMOs in Zimbabwe. Uh, I appreciate the current building budget of our nation, which is in the period of the first speaker. So I would support privatization of these extension services. Why? It is only through private. It is only through privatization uh, when we can have efficiency and, and productivity in agriculture. As we have the drive to meet, to meet the targets as well as the GDP of our current nation can be used this way. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, I actually, I don't concur with uh, my colleagues who are saying yes to total privatization or partial privatization. I am saying extension services should remain permanently free of charge to farmers. Ladies and gentlemen, have you considered the economic insta instability we are facing here in Zimbabwe? Our farmers don't have enough money to pay for these extension services. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, saying, I'm simply saying let the government support its farmers through free service extension. Thank you. Yes, gentlemen, yeah, I would like to advocate on total privatization of the of extension services. One, extension services as a private sector is going to bring more resource research into the farmers and commodity-based uh, information. Uh, if the government have people at heart, they should support privatization, where they give coupons to farmers for extension, like what Cuba did, and it revived its agriculture sector through the coupons to the small uh, sector, which do not have money. Thank you. The question still remains. Try to say things are like this in our nation. The private sector will be effective. It has resources, some say. It's international, some say. Some say, why not go for a total government control? The government has people at heart. Some say, we need the government. We need the private sector. They will work hand in hand, combined. We go for a partial extension service provision. But the question I will pose to you, have we not been living under partial extension service provision all this time? But how are we performing as a nation in the agricultural sector? So the question I still pose to you, Toyota say, what do we do about extension service provision in Zimbabwe? 